everybody want to do the update for the small grow tent so let me grab the camera and take it over there as you can see the regrow of the uh, lettuce up here on top has started to really uh, come back i don't know why this one over here is not as tall as this one i think i cut this one short when i harvested it off so that's why this one's probably a little further ahead on the regrow so these are second cut going to be second cut trays uh, down here you can see I've taken the tops off of the uh, plastic domes because they were uh, pretty much all fully grown. These two here on the end, I don't know what happened to these two. Well, actually these three, they, boy, they, it looks like they got a little damping off. Yeah, you can see they were a little too damp. So I should have taken the cover off probably yesterday, maybe the day before. But uh, that's what happens when you get the damping off. It's too wet around their roots, or not around the roots, around the stem. It gets really choked off right there and it uh, pretty much drops over. That's why I always plant more than I'm what I'm gonna need because that way if I do have anything happen to them, I know I'm gonna have extras. But you can see the, uh, the peppers back there, they're starting to come up. We've got a lot of them that have sprouted. And then we've got our, uh, of course we've got our Crimson Sprinter tomatoes. They always come up really strong. So do these uh, most bitch. And these are the black cherry tomatoes. So it looks like we got four of those and that's actually what I wanted. It looks like I must have dropped three seeds into this one here. You can see there's three of them up. Two in that one, two in that one, one over there. And these two damped off, so those will be gone. Uh, pink boar, we've still got quite a few that are going. And I can also throw in another seed or two into these, so that way I can get some you know, growing as backups. And over here, doesn't look like we have any damping off over on this side. I don't see anything coming up from these... Uh, green pepper seeds. These are ones that uh, Paula had pulled out of a, a pepper that she got from Costco. So I don't know what's going to happen with those, if they're going to germinate or not. But uh, those are the Supernova Cherry Tomatoes, the Cosmonaut Volkov Tomato, which is a bigger tomato. Looks like we got really good growth on those. The Montesinos are all up. Those look nice. And then we got our peppers here. So I'm happy to see we got more of the peppers up. So everything looks good there. Got another lettuce tray down here. It needs to be harvested. It's getting so big that it's tipping over. So that'll probably be for uh, this week's dinner salads. And we got another one down here. It's ready to go. And of course, we got one of the weed row trays down there. I think that was a tray I had already cut once, so this is going to be its third cut. So hopefully, uh, I'll get a little bit more out of that. Otherwise, I'm going to take that and dump that into the worm compost and turn that into some nice uh, worm manure be able to put on some of my plants and we need to mix it into uh, when we up pot these to be in the uh, five inch pots when they get ready to go in a large grow tent for their final growth before we're going to get them outside that's what i'm going to mix in this year is a bunch of that uh, worm compost which will make it really uh, nutritious for those plants all right well this is the update for the small tent this week guys talk to you again bye